So we're all hanging out together. There's Ev. Clover and Daryl are over there. I'd have Ev, but Mama has Ev. I fed her earlier today. What do you mean you'd have Ev, but I do? Because she's saying on your... You don't want to have Clover? I like either one of them. Or are you saying you I would have both? I could have both. I could have both. Remember the pictures we took with me and both of them because they were calmer that way? Mm -hmm. If they're both upset and I hold Everly and then I put Clover in my lap, they tend to calm down and relax. And then Clover eventually gets bored sitting on my lap and wants to go play somewhere. Clover, don't just spill that out. Here. I was having a rough hair day right now. You want to drink it, right? <laughs> Here, I'll take that. Hey, baby, we do it. Oh, that's yours. Happy feet. Look, like when my feet is happy. Whoa. Mm. Don't get too into it. What Clover's are you doing, Clover? Her cup. We changed her over from bottles to sippies. I actually threw her bottles away because we kept giving in and giving her bottles. And I'm like, I'm sick of this. I'm just going to throw them away. But they were already like really old. old so we, baby's going to have to have different ones anyway. Say hi. Daddy, you want to hear my song? What? It's a hard knock life for me. When I'm with my family. They, what? You gonna come back up here? Lots of kisses. <laughs> on my cheeks. Oh, Lots I'm of huggies. They love me. What? She's just climbing back up here to get in a different position. Come on, she climbs up here with one hand in her sippy cup now. You cannot drink it sitting in a, that position, Clover. Here go. I can't because I have to hold her up. Ah. Where are you going, Clover? You she likes to drink standing up in the middle of nowhere. Everly's just hanging out over here being adorable. Yeah, but today I gotta turn in my paperwork for work and. Might go for a walk now. Yeah, I might go for a walk and gotta get some food shopping done, maybe. Tomorrow. We got a free stroller. Bye -bye. Oh, we got a stroller. So we're gonna use it. But yeah. We'll see what you. We'll see you all in a little bit. What you doing? Making a mess. Clover's running away from me. So it's already 7:50, and I just started vlogging. Because we've been playing so crazy today, the baby learned something. What are you doing? Hold on. Whoa! What's going on? You don't have to Got it. Whoa, you didn't get it. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. You didn't get it. Did you get it? Did you get it?
Check out what Clover did to the blinds. You like that? There's a cop car sitting out there, and I don't know what it's sitting there for. Well, it's a cop SUV. Everly, are your feet happy? Are your feet happy? Oh, help me make the baby laugh. Hi, baby. No, you don't need a block. <sighs> Sorry. Are your feet happy, baby? Boop, boop, boop. Biting. We don't bite. That makes mama unhappy. Makes mama mad. Everly Bear. Everyone's nothing to do with me. And Clover wants nothing to do with anything but me. Can I cuddle you? Peace. Aww. You got happy feet? But your feet are happy. But your feet is happy, baby. She does not want to laugh. I'll do it whenever Clover goes to bed because she's. I think she gets nervous around Clover because Clover is a little bit rough and tumble. And so the baby doesn't really know what to expect when Clover's around. <gasps> Let me see them happy feet. Let me see them happy feet. Let me see your happy feet. Let me see you. Dear, did it say happy feet? Good dinky. 
What? What is that? What is it? How did you find the tiniest? What is that? Oh. No. That's a piece of a Skittle that you were eating. Yuck. Say I had a Skittle. She literally had one Skittle and then wanted a strawberry. She did not want the Skittle. Stop. Well, stop doing that. Ew. nice to do oh that makes sister sad when you take her passy can we give it back to her please that makes her very sad it's not a nice thing to do I got it back now and I'm gonna give it to her because it was her pacifier and here is your pacifier but you know you're only allowed to have them at night time now, so enjoy it. It's almost your Betty Buys. Back up, baby. Here. Move your chair back. Move chair back. Oh, be careful. I'm sorry. Did I knock you over? I'm sorry, baby. Mm. Sit, sit. I just don't want you to go blind. You'll go blind if you watch TV that close, baby. Mm. She's watching The Incredibles before bedtime. I've noticed the days that she gets to watch TV before bedtime for like a half hour, she just goes down easier. I think it helps like simmer her down a little bit. So, and as you can see, she doesn't even really watch it. She just kind of plays with me and it's on the background and sometimes she'll sit down for a minute and watch it and then she's back to playing with me. So, you know, we've changed it from after nap time now to before bedtime, so. In case you were wondering what I was trying to talk, what I was trying to say. Are your feet happy? Are your feet happy? Look at these little tinky toes. Are they happy? Oh, look at this baby. Oh, look at the baby. Look at this baby. Look at this baby. Oh, what a pretty little baby. What a pretty little baby. Mwah. No, leave my phone alone. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Oh, no. No. No hit you either. That makes sister very sad and it's not nice to do. And if you do it again, you're going to be in big trouble, mister. It makes her very sad. That hurts her. She gets an ouch. When you hit her. No, ouch, ouch. Ouch. Okay, ouch. That is part of Clover's therapy. Ouch, 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 no. No, baby, no. Come here, how about we do something else? Let's play together. Hey, 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 hey. Be nice to my baby, okay? Clover has um, what is called sensory issues, and that means um, for her, it means something different for everybody, but for her, she can't feel pain like we do. Um, she feels pinches, and she feels intense pain, like if it's really bad pain. But little stuff like this, or like scratching like this, she doesn't feel that. Um, and she's very rough because of it. So if you are wondering why she doesn't go in timeout, that doesn't work for her. 
because she doesn't know what she's doing is wrong. Like if she throws stuff at somebody or she throws her food, she knows she's doing that wrong, but she doesn't know that when she's hitting that that is wrong because to her that wouldn't hurt her. So that is why we just say, ouch, that hurts sister. Or, and then um, if she continues, we remove her from the situation or try to distract her. But we try, we're trying to basically teach her that it hurts because she doesn't know by ex from experience that that hurts. So if you're wondering, that's why. And she has therapy for that every week or every other week. And then speech therapy every other week they alternate one week is speech one thing one week is sensory issues which they call behavior therapy so yeah and everly has therapy for torticollis because she has that that's originally how it started is they came over to do everly's torticollis therapy and they noticed that clover did that and then they had an appointment with her and they realized that she had that i knew she had problem with speech because she doesn't say much um and nobody's actually pointed that out in the vlogs, which I thought was funny, but she doesn't say much um, anymore. She used to, but she doesn't anymore. So she has like, and it's not really therapy for speech. It's just someone that comes in and they know how to coax her into talking because I've never done that before. I've never had a child, obviously, that just stopped talking after I taught them words. She just doesn't want to say them anymore because they think it's because of the baby, um, just because she wants to be a baby. They think that she kind of regressed and then kind of forgot how to do it. So that's what she's doing. If you're against therapies like that, please keep that to yourself. It's something that we've chosen for our kids and it can't hurt them in any way. So even if maybe some of you will say, well, Clover's just a rough kid, then it's just teaching her to be a more gentle child um, instead of being rough. So either way, it's not gonna hurt her, so. What? And Everly has like, it's a medical condition. It's called torticollis. And what it is, is the tightening of her um, muscles in her neck area. And it hurts her to move her neck the other way. And she has a tilt to her head. Um, and she actually has tightening up in her upper torso too. And it's just from sleeping on her belly in the pack and play. Um, and we try to get her to sleep on her back and she just doesn't do it. Um, so currently we're in the process of getting her a crib. Um, if you're wondering, we are fundraising to get her a crib um, because her therapy is quite expensive. Um, so yeah, all their therapies are quite expensive. Um, so most, all of Clover's is covered, but Everly's is only partially. So we are having a little bit of a rough time with that. And his job really isn't the best. He obviously is gone all the time and he's still not making as much as he was in North Dakota. So, um, but I say these things on the vlog not for sympathy or asking for anything from you guys. I just want you to see that um, we have the same problems that you guys have, we have. You know, it's not like, we're perfect, it's not like we think we're perfect, it's not like we never fight, it's not like we never have financial issues, none of that is true. We are completely normal people, um, and yeah, so, yeah, we are currently fundraising for Everly's crib, so, that's, it's kind of, I don't wanna use the word embarrassing, it's more humbling, like, and it really opens your eyes because we actually have had um, some donations from people that we really didn't even, uh, we didn't even expect to donate. Um, <clears throat> and so it's just, it's really humbling and it really is just eye-opening to the fact that there are really great people still in the world. So that's really nice. That's nice, huh? What? Yeah, but anyway, like I said, I just, I put that, this stuff, kind of stuff in the vlogs mostly because I feel like every time I watch YouTube vlogs and they're like people that I usually watch, they don't talk about any financial issues because a lot of times people base their vlogs off of what they see. I'm not saying they copy them or anything like that. I'm just saying they base them off of what they see. So they see 
you know, bigger YouTubers who are financially stable, um, and not just, like, we're financially stable. We can meet everyday needs for ourselves. But extra things that we weren't expecting are very hard on us. Um, so, like, I watch YouTubers that, I won't, I won't name any, but, what? You do not like this movie, and I do not know why. Um, sorry. We watch YouTubers, too. Um, and we notice that all of them seem to somehow just be, like, completely, not even just financially stable, but well off. Or they don't talk about their financial situation at all, or you don't see them buying anything at all. And, like, I just want to make it very, very clear that we struggle and we're not gonna sugarcoat it in any way um we struggle to meet excess excess needs is what i would call it because clover had a crib before she was born but she never slept in it until she was like six months old so we really didn't expect this to happen this early but because she won't sleep in that on her back that's what they recommended and yeah so everybody has those problems i think well most people it's just that a lot of people don't discuss them because then you get the comments that are like you want sympathy and we don't want sympathy um we're not asking for handouts or anything we just are being real with you guys that it's not an easy everyday thing so like when we vlogged in north dakota you guys would see us going out to eat all the time and stuff and now we don't do that anymore and it's not because we have two kids now it's because we can't afford it um, and it has nothing to do with Everly. Um, it just has to do with the fact that he took a pay cut. But I'm a very family-oriented person, and he loves my family and his family, obviously. But, you know, like, he's, I, he's more, like, independent than I ever was. He just doesn't need a ton of people. He just needs me and the girls. Um you know every day but I want to be around my family a lot and I want the girls to know my family and so we made that sacrifice and I appreciate so much that he made that sacrifice for us because I know he likes being able to have extra but you know you can't replace your family and you know when I'm dead I want to be able to know that I spent as much time with my friends and family as I could and not that I had as much money to take to the grave with me as I could but of course we would like to be doing financially better and be able to afford a little bit of extra stuff. But we're getting there. He's been working a lot more in case you haven't noticed in the vlogs, which I'm sure you have. Um, so yeah. But oh, before I forget, I wanted to address something really quick. Someone had commented and asked why I like pick fun at the constructive criticism and stuff that we get. Um, and... I just want to make it clear that when I say stuff like that, I don't mean the constructive criticism that people give. I don't mean the people who give like comments that make sense. Like when someone said Clover watches too much TV, I completely agreed with that and we cut her down on TV. Um, basically, I'm talking about the people who come on my channel to watch a video and just say something completely rude. That is frustrating but I will try not to do that because I don't want to make you guys feel like I'm picking fun at you because I'm really not I love you guys so much and I love that you guys watch us and I don't really care how many subscribers we have I just care that the ones that we have are here to watch us and you know constructive criticism is always welcome if you notice that you gave us constructive criticism and we don't take it please understand that they are our kids and we will raise them the way that we want to but like when Clover was little someone had told us that it would probably be better if she ate on an incline and we didn't even realize that because we were first time parents like there's still stuff that we don't we don't always know what we're doing with clover because she's our first child and it's kind of like a learning process with her we're learning with her so just you know if you ever have constructive criticism as long as you give it in a nice way neither of us mind at all so but when you come at someone and oh don't pull clover's hair that's the first time that everly has ever hurt clover I don't see that's what I mean clover doesn't feel that um but what was I saying yeah don't ever feel like you can't give us constructive criticism at all you can I just I hate when people come on and they're like oh your baby's been crying for 20 minutes and blah 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 and I'm just like 
you know, it's not like we're not trying to calm her down. You hear us calming, trying to calm her down. You see us trying to calm her down. Sometimes babies cry and there's really nothing you can do. And being a parent is so not stressful. I'm trying to think of the word. It's so much, you, you constantly are worried about how good of a parent you are. If you're a good enough parent, if you're doing good enough, if you're a great parent, you want to be the best parent. So please just know that whenever I say stuff like that, it's because I, I do struggle a little bit with feeling inadequate sometimes because of the comments that we get and it makes me feel like I'm not doing a good job when I'm giving it everything I have. So, you know, like I said, if you have any constructive criticism for us, feel free to tell us. Um, just, yeah, it's, it is hard to take that in when someone is just being mean about something and you're just sitting there thinking like, we're not doing that on purpose. It's not, you know, we're not making her cry and we don't want her to cry. We love her and we want her to be happy. So it's, it's a little rough. <laughs> um, we're still getting used to having two babies under two years old because Clover really is still a baby. She's not even two. And you know, it's, it's not easy, but we wouldn't give it up for the world. We love these girls so much. We love you so much. You are grump. You were so happy earlier. You were. You were so happy. And now you're just grumpy bumpy. Grumpity bump. Grumpity bump. Grumpity bump. Grumpity bump. Grumpity bump. I'm sorry that this vlog has been me talking. I talk a lot. Honestly, I get kind of lonely. That's a lot of what I like about vlogging is that when I'm alone and I'm lonely and of course I have my kids but you're smiling at mama oh okay it's like that it's like that now oh buddy oh, of course I love my kids and I talk to them but you can't have like a in-depth conversation with them because Clover can't like hold a conversation she can't say full sentences and stuff so it's nice to have you guys to talk to because even though I know like nobody's talking back I know that I'll get comments from you guys and I love getting your comments and responding to them and just talking to you guys so yeah and if you guys ever have a question that I don't answer um, that you've commented comment it on my Facebook page which I'll link that down below um, comment it on either of the Facebook pages because YouTube and Google Plus combined and now some of your comments we can't answer it's specific people um stacy we can't answer your comments um i don't know if i've encountered anybody else's comments that we can't answer yet but we can't answer some of your comments so if you ever have a question feel free to even message me on facebook i don't care um message us comment to us talk to us whatever right on our wall we don't care we love to hear from you guys and we love your opinions and your questions and all that stuff all that jazz and all that jazz she is being so funny you're cute you're so cute well i'm gonna go and cuddle with clover for 15 minutes before she goes to bed and then we'll talk to you in a little bit i am gonna edit the video now for the day i'm really tired um daryl is gonna be home in an hour or two I guess so good night